Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy The Moon Project here, or Kyle. I am accompanied by... Can you please tell us your name, sir? What, what? Michael, Michael alright, do you have any social medias that people can follow you at? Not really. Alright, he's staying ghosting, okay. <laughs> this is Mr. Who? That's a ripoff. What's your name? You know my name. What's your name? Tell tell the don't, viewers. Don't make me panic. How are you panicking? Tell the viewers your name. Creeperino. Creeperino? Alright, the mighty Beanerino himself. Alright, today we have a special. Um, so, and if you can see it right there, we have an old laptop of mine. Doesn't work anymore. Fill the porn. Yeah. So, and basically for Mr. Creeperino's 21st birthday, I'm going to let him unload on it. I don't really use it anymore. We're going to, I guess, take three different views. There's going to be a shot on the outside, open it up, shoot the glass bottom, and then shoot the back and just see what happens. And we had different guns. I'll show you guys that in a second. All right. So, this is Mr. Michael. He has no social media because he's a loser jk <laughs> uh he is our gun technician and supplier for this video he works at an airsoft store he knows what he's talking about he is qualified just don't bring many guns yeah all right so no please guns. explain to us which guns are here and what their functionalities are all right so um <clears throat> first off we have an amk m6 cvn uh it's no longer an ag which means an electric gun runs off an air system that's why you see a line going back here to this tank so it is going to be shooting off high pressure air uh your standard six millimeter bbs in this box mag uh, if you move on from there we have an echo one m249 this one's electric again ammo goes in the box mag runs off the battery then we have two gas guns we'll be using today we have a hnk ump 45 by elite force uh green gas operated so magazine state gas right down here kind of like propane fill it up fill up your bbs and you're pretty much good to go and then we have a discontinued KWA Chris Vector. Um, also green gas, uh, as well, uh, different options on there, custom stock, slight and suppressor. Things you don't normally get on the real uh, thing normally, but yeah, see how these things uh, handle against that Asus computer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be right back in just a second. All right, Mr. Michael, uh, tell us what gun he's using first and tell us about it, like weight, in BBs, FPS, and so forth, so forth. All right, he's using the uh, Polish Art A&K M M60. Um, shooting around 450 on 0.25. Does have a red nozzle, so that's what helps us get that higher FPS. And uh, we're using 0.25s for this uh, experiment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Creeper, you know, fire at will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is basically, we ran out of air, but he got a few good hits in it. You can kind of see right there, kind of. And so, and his GoPro's recording underneath my legs. <laughs> so, basically, this is what the M60 did, and we're going to show you some other views. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Creeperino is using a UMP45. Explains um, why this one's different compared to the other one. This one hurts like hell. Well, it's not from it being an SMG compared to an LMG and what it runs off of, green gas. Um, using a different gram BB, 0.28s, a 30 round magazine, not as much as the box bag in the M60. It's inserted like so. Uh, release the bolt, slap it down, don't worry about it. As, put it on uh, semi or two round burst if you want to shoot it at. Uh, just so everybody can kind of see. All right, he has it in semi. All right, now with this, are you gonna stand up or are you gonna lay down like you did with the M60? The M60 was too heavy to carry. All right, lay down. it's okay. All right, now let's zoom in. Yeah, aim a little higher, higher. Higher. There you go. 
Not sure if you guys can see that, but he's kind of dead on on the mark a little bit. All right. Yeah. Whoop! Right. Oh, got to zoom out. Okay, he ran out of ammo. He's switching up ammo. Blood loops up. Pull, yeah, lift it up. Pull the pull back. Pick up the new mag. Insert. And slap it down. You're pretty much good. To go. All right, and. Not sure if you guys can kind of see the BB on there. I'm going off aim. A little bit. Go up and to the right. There you go. Down, down, there. All right. Be back in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last mag of the UMP 45. All right, Mr. Creeperino. For the record, I'm, I'm better with the scope and a rifle, not guns like this. Okay. Higher. There you go. Not sure how well these are coming up on the video. You're up. All right. Be back in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. The dents are here, but they're not as noticeable as the M60s. As you guys can see from earlier. So, right through here, a little bit of here, a little up, but not as much done. This is just an old school Acer laptop, too. So, I'll show you guys what the uh, Chris Vector does here in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chris Vector. All right, explain what crazy attachments we have on this. All right, so aside the big old foam fill suppressor. Uh, so it is going to muzzle the noise a bit, but not much. This is an open bolt system, so gas is coming out from the bolt system and the front. And then we have a replica EOTech up here. Uh, we have a new monster stock adapter and a UBR Magpul stock. All right, all right. And so what's the FPS on this, and what uh, grain of BBs are we using? So it's shooting around 320 roughly, about a 0.28 gram BB. All right, all right. So Mr. Creeperino, what setting do you have it on? Is it on full auto right now? Okay, full auto, all right. So, get in position and all right, whenever you're ready. Higher, higher, higher. Higher. Well, <laughs> so, what happened, Mr. Creeperino? If you I like, missed. You, you missed. All right, good to speculate. All right. I went full auto and I missed. Okay. That's what happens. Shut up. All right. So. Right. Don't don't worry about the dogs. They're just playing. Yeah, doesn't sound like they're playing. That uh, that's some playing. All right, zoom back in. Go. Higher, higher. All right, there you go. Higher. That's noticeable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, not as noticeable again like the M60s uh, BBs over here, but this one, these are the Chris Vectors up here, a little bit up here, and not as much. All of the BBs are hidden right here and over. So I'm um, not sure if you can kind of see the dents um, and whatnot, but. There's that, and we got a little something for you in the in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here has been the moment that we've been waiting for. Mr. Creeperino is using the M249, which we used in the beginning, or we're going to use, uh, and how to fix it a little bit. So he's going to pretty much, this is the distance of him and the laptop. All right, and zooming in. Go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the aftermath of his unloading of the M249. As you can kind of see, he only scratched the paint layer. So out of all that so far, what's the heaviest Grand BB that he's shot so far? It would be the 2.8, and that's with the UMP45 and the Chris Vector. Okay, so out of the 
0.28 so far you've only you've only pretty much dented so much the m60 looked like it dented more this is m60 that's his favorite gun he puts so but the m60 was at a higher fps above the chris vector and ump 45. Yeah, he put yeah, so much sadly, into it the tank wasn't as full as i assumed it to be so we ran out of air pretty quickly at such a high psi and so with this the m249 is shooting about what fps i was shooting around 350 i believe on a 0.25 average and so we were standing at about maybe 15 20 feet uh range right up here and so this is all that it could happen but we're not done yet we're not done yet we have a little something else just for you all right ladies and gentlemen we're back and this is mr creeperino he is going to destroy what we couldn't do with bb guns or airsoft guns to be correct because bbs are for kids airsoft is for pros yeah, right. There you go. About this. So, I'm happy. I don't need this anymore. I have better equipment now. You got a $2,000 PC. I do. My PC costs exactly $2,198. Plus the $800 laptop. Yes. So, go ahead. Destroy on go. The bucket's down! The bucket's down! <laughs> Good job, Consuela. <laughs> go, Diego, go. <laughs> okay! Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> I ripped it in half. It's the only thing you rip in half. <laughs> oh, dude, that was great. All right, so this is this is the aftermath of that one hammer slice. So, hey, you're right. It is a thin piece of paper right here. All right. So we're kind of just figuring out what's all in this too. So I it's like it. it's holding. I mean, you're holding it. So you want to put it down for just a second? I'm just kind of. We're gonna kind of just go in and see what's in this bad boy. Okay, so. From what you guys normally see, this is just a, I guess, a cheap material, kind of reflective, for the image to be popped through. Paperwork this is identification numbers. <laughs> paper, just the in case. Key, the keys all over the floor. Yeah, he popped the keys out. This is just a see-through um, tint, kind of glass reflectiveness that is your main screen. You have your. Uh, hey, I found the space bar. <laughs> 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 space bro space so this is basically your film that you see through like your monitors and whatnot and it's uh three to four layers you have one white that's your uh underglow then you have two silver kind of and then one more white and that is your reflectiveness your keys everything um pretty much these are your little knobs that's into the circuit board uh let's see well well geez i can't even open up the cd drive because it ripped off. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, no, no, CD drives, they're all messed up, bro. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Just don't cut your hand on that, okay? I'm trying not to, I've only got too much cuts from work. All right, so, this is pretty much. The bottom. Yeah, uh, 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 here's the other piece of glass. Here's the actual glass. It's for everybody to see. It's in, it's in. This is a motherboard, I believe. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see, can we open this? I am trying one handed. Uh, shut up. No, you might have to break it a little bit more, maybe. Uh, Cause there's screws right there too. But, but you can see a little bit of the uh, motherboard. Here is a smaller <coughs> mess. <laughs> you can put slow motion on, on the kind of we're, we're getting the insides and you can kind of see this is the circuit board of the motherboard and then you have capacitors you have a little um little chips that are processors to go into it and we'll one more swing we'll do all right we're gonna back up just because this creep's gonna do one more real quick and just so we can kind of see the inside do we want to add in the chris vector shoot and break it he's not gonna, gonna shoot me no i'm not gonna shoot while he's there ah man <laughs> You can bounce off and hit you, Michael, or me. Hey, no, risk I'm willing to take. At the same time. Risk I'm willing to take. 
I ain't got to work till 2 tomorrow, so I'm good. Let's go. I, I'm glad I moved. Um, I had to move out the way for that one. All right, let's put it back up on the... Dude. All right, so to pretty much show everybody. I opened that more. Yeah, I Ooh, can tell. Hard drive. Here it is. It's fried, bro. It's not gonna work. The mouth boobs, the ass boobs. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so what you're seeing is, is pretty much that was a hard drive holder. This is the graphics kind of. These are all capacitors right through here. Here is your. Yeah, there it is. This is the memory. Yeah, 32 gigabytes of memory. Uh, dogs are playing. And so what we have is pretty much the insides of the PC. So let's kind of just break it apart. I'm trying one-handed. Uh, so let's get a look. Okay, capacitors processor into it as well and then you have more processors you have your connection small chip and this is basically this is the aftermath of airsoft and a hammer all right so any last words for the video ends guys anything finally able to destroy something that you have after five fucking years Mr. Mr. Airsoft guy. Cool to see what the guns could do to a computer. Not much on the outside, but we should we, we should have opened it up. This is what I have to advance the screen. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, this has been your boy, the Moon Project. This is Mr. Creeperino's 21st birthday today. This if we have, if we haven't heard from me until Wednesday, call 911. It's Wednesday. No, next Wednesday. Okay, so next Wednesday, got it. All right. He has social media links he'll put in the description below. May have a YouTube channel, may not. And we'll figure it out later on. Alright. If you guys live in the Tennessee, uh, in Tennessee or around the Nashville area, and you're looking for airsoft guns, what kind of store can they go to to get some good quality guns? Shameless promotions now. Uh, well... Two, you can go to uh, Carcon One. They have an outdoor field and store at Nashville Airsoft, which is an indoor arena. All right, he regularly works at Nashville Airsoft, plays on the field, and he is good with guns. So, flashing I'm tanning. Oh, he's flashing us. I'm tanning. You could tan with that. All right, and so, ladies and gentlemen, oh, the key fell. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been your boy, The Moon Project, with Michael and Ivan. All right, love you guys' faces. See you in the next one.